Okay, here we go. Avengers Round 2. This week, Captain America is up, and no doubt he's gonna be a fun one. I mean, really, even Superman wants to be him. Anyway, today we're gonna look at the Captain himself, and exactly how he received his powers, how he can sustain them, and how he throws his mighty shield. When you think of liberty, you think of Captain America. Therefore, you should also think of cancer. Why, you ask? Well, cancer spreads rapidly and is probably the only thing that could have transformed Steve Rogers into the Captain that we see today. When you see Captain America begin to go into the chamber, then promptly stepped out, you will see there is a huge increase in mass. This increase would have to be the cause of what they injected into him. This may seem okay, and I'm fine with saying that he got this extra mass because of what was injected into him, but the fact that he weighs 240 pounds or 109 kilograms and can bench press 1,700 pounds or 771 kilograms is definitely a problem. The reason that this is a problem is because he's not massive enough to accomplish this feat. If you were actually able to lift this much, you'd have to weigh roughly 400 pounds. And that he has to be all muscle. And since Captain America is 6 foot 2 or about 1.9 meters, he has to double his density in order to accomplish this feat. Another downside to this is that swimming would be impossible, because a human has roughly the same density as water. And that's just an average one. If you took Steve Rogers with his appropriate density, you would have a man that is roughly 250% more dense than water. So this submarine scene would never be able to happen, because he would likely just drown due to his own body weight. Now back to what I said before, about Captain America having cancer, and this might actually allow him to have a bit more than what we give him credit for. His cells would burn through calories a lot faster than it would with any other normal human. The reason being is that cancer will make sure that the cells burn energy a lot faster and a lot stronger, so he will be able to accomplish superhuman feats, but not very long. The expression that the candle that burns twice as bright burns half as long truly demonstrates itself here, as Captain America would realistically run out of energy a lot faster. And this is not just a matter of conditioning. Even if he was in better shape than an Olympic distance runner, he could never run or perform very well without receiving an almost constant intake of calories. And just something to think about, kind of a not so appetizing, so if you're eating, please stop, I'll give you a minute. If Captain America were to actually eat this much, he would constantly be on the toilet because he's taking in so much food. Unless he just had a special calorie bar. To add to this unappetizing topic, Cap's protein bars would have to exceed the calorie count of 5,000 calories to deal with the stress and physical strain during one of Cap's military operations. To put this in perspective, this is equivalent to eating 10 Big Mac burgers from McDonald's just before saving the world. If you're still with us, thank you, but bear in mind that this next segment may go a bit fast. So, in order for the Vita Rays to give him so much muscle growth almost instantaneously, Cap would have to have some sort of baning cancer, look it up, it's a type of cancer, which allowed his muscle bones and nervous cells to spontaneously begin replicating at an incredible rate without damaging Cap himself. This vital organ would also have to be cancerous to sustain the growth of his muscles. The reason being is that this super cancer has to be present in almost every part of his body or there'd be a chemical imbalance which would most likely cause Cap to die of hormonal shock or even worse, internal hormoning. To make this a little easier to understand, Captain America can run about 60 miles per hour or about 96.5 kilometers per hour. A cheetah, something that is built for running and speed, can only run this fast for 20 seconds. Captain America can run for over half an hour as seen in the Captain America Winter Soldier movie. Because humans were not made to be solely runners, which means that this is not our best aspect, there is no possible way that Captain America can do this, especially since he is running so fast. Now another interesting thing about Captain America is that he can process images faster than a normal human, about 9 times faster than the average FPS gamer. The average for one of these COD or Battlefield fans is equivalent to about 0.17 seconds. He can process images about 0.015 seconds, or 1 one hundredth of a second. This is the reaction time required to actually be able to dodge a bullet if you are able to see the flash from around 100 meters away. He might be able to actually see the bullet in midair before it hit him at a distance greater than that. Alright, now let's see, or see faster, whatever Marvel wants us to believe, how Captain America can put his reaction time to good use. Him having the ability to look around and take in his surroundings is exactly what allows him to use his shield so effectively. His ability to intake his surroundings is what lets him throw his shield at everything and make sure it comes back to him. While laser technology could allow him to do this, because it was World War II, there was no such thing as this, and only Captain America's given powers would allow him to accomplish these feats. While it is quite difficult to be able to time everything perfectly, with enough practice he actually could pull it off, though him and Thor both have the same problem, they're always throwing away their best weapon. The first movie was decent, and no one liked him in the Avengers. But if you didn't like him after the second movie, you might need to rethink your movie tastes. 
but maybe you just don't like the captain in general, which would explain why you're here. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just stop talking now and get to the end. So remember, whether he's jumping out of planes with no parachute or eating a buffet just for the appetizer, Captain America still can't get a date with anyone. But for some reason, Black Widow was really interested in his love life. That's it for this episode, and remember to leave a like and comment on here you would like to see perform in the real world next. We're the Superhero Scientists, signing off. When Captain America throws his mighty shield, all those who chose to oppose his shield, the 